back to the Take It Easy Morning Show where we say take it easy on the road and of course, take it easy with life. Just as promised, we have our uh, special guest uh, in the studio this morning. But big good morning to uh, uh, Veronica Mulio uh, this morning, Elengalo Foi. The U.S. Uh, Embassy, uh, based in Wellington, our country, uh, public affairs officer, Mrs. Lucille Goodman. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to I Spy. It's good to have you ladies here. Talo Palava, good morning. How's everybody going? Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, but of course, you know, uh, here at I Spy, we're big advocates of, you know, uh, promoting and, and, and letting people know about different opportunities there are. And you guys, uh, there's the um, Fulbright Foreign uh, Scholarship that's... Uh, that you guys are putting out? Yeah, so finally, so happy to be back here in Samoa after two years. That means we're back with people, programs. So the first thing I wanna tell everybody about is our Fulbright Scholarship Program. We have applications open, those close on October 10th. You can go on our website and check it out. It's for a master's degree in the United States completely free yeah. um, on any idea that you may have. So anything, if it's climate change, whether it's studying health, whether it's getting a law degree, your the application is open to whatever creativity you may have. Yeah. Um, we're also here to promote our American Corner. It's in the Central Library. It provides free Wi-Fi, free internet to the public. We also provide media literacy training there. Um, and we also provide education advising. There's a lot of opportunities to study in the United States. I think a lot of people psych themselves out. Yeah. They kind of self-censor. They think, I'm here in Samoa. How could I possibly go to the university in the United States? That's right. I got to tell you, people here have dynamic stories, creative yeah. stories. And that's what universities in the U.S. are looking for. And if they want you, they'll pay for you to go to school there. Mm. So don't psych yourself out. Come check out. Talk to Veronica. She studied in the United States. She can tell you all about her experience, whether that's going on a sports scholarship, academic scholarship, or even a Pacific Islander scholarship. Yes, big good morning to uh, Veronica Lene to Lanata. It's good to see you. Uh, it's, it's been a while. She, uh, I don't think she remembers, but she was my coach over there at JP's gym, giving us a hard time trying to make it to how many reps and this and that. Yes, uh, I did get my uh, tertiary uh, education in the United States, even with my Samoan passport. Yeah. I I received a uh, four-year scholarship from the government of Samoa in athletics. Mm. So, and then uh, for my master's, I also received uh, that at the University of San Francisco. Okay. So I just want uh, to put it out there to students and uh, uh, higher education uh, colleagues. It can be done. Yeah. (laughs) Even if we have uh, Samoan passports, we can still study in the United States. Yeah, there's a way yeah, to do it. And that's the thing, uh, you just have to look at the right places. You were telling us uh, that uh, most of the information is on the U.S. Embassy website. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's also, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. You can find us anywhere there. Um, pretty easy to find the information. But look, if it seems daunting, if it seems intimidating, that's why we have it in Ika in the American Corner. Mm. Um, she runs our Education USA program. She's there to answer questions, kind of walk you through the process. Um, we have a great general website, it's educationusa.gov, where you can also do the step-by-step process on how to apply to schools in the U.S. Yes. Uh, but for anyone who's looking for an immediate scholarship opportunity, we do have this Fulbright program available. Um, the applications close on October 10th. You know, it's the 70th anniversary of the Fulbright program. It's kind of our premier scholarship program. It was started after World War II yeah. by a senator who said, you know, we never want this to happen again. Yes. How can we ensure peace in the world? And that's bringing people together. That's right. And that's why he started this scholarship program. And I really want to see Samoa represented in Fulbright this next year. That's right, guys. Um, uh, big shout out in Famalo to the boys over there at Sleeping Giant Films uh, tuning into our program. Big shout out to those three, Maddie. And not forgetting our brother Clinton. Hopefully, you guys are having a great start to your day out and about filming. But of course, uh, we've uh, covered the, the, the Fulbright Scholarship and there's, you guys already have a, a student. She's out there in the University of Colorado. 
Yes, Veronica was just telling us we already have a student at the Colorado State University. And in fact, she's doing something bio-related. She's looking at the protection of a native bird. Veronica. The Manumea. So her name is uh, Moyumu Willi, and uh, she's pursuing a master's degree in, the, in that, in the protection of our Manumea. Uh, she used to work for MNRE, okay. and, uh, but she uh, worked out of uh, the Samoa Conservation Society, mm. so that's where she left from. So this is her first year. First she's year. got one more year with a Fulbright program. And then she'll return home. Yeah. Because the visas that we grant uh, our students that pursue this uh, opportunity is that they have to come back. Yes. Give back to the community. That's right. So that's the one condition of such visa. Hey, that's what it's all about, uh, giving back to the people. And, yeah. of course, with this scholarship, oh man, great new opportunities and doors have been opened. But one of the questions that was sent in is, like, who is eligible to apply? So honestly, with Fulbright, anyone is eligible to apply. The only thing is you have to have at least a bachelor's degree, an okay. undergraduate degree, because it is for a master's program. So okay. it is for a postgraduate. Um, so no age limit on the Fulbright program, uh, no particular limitations. It's only about the quality of your application and your creative idea. Yeah. Um, so that is the only setback for that. But just keep in mind, I mean, we are promoting the Fulbright application process, but every university and every community college around the United States, they have their own scholarship programs. Mm. And we have hundreds of thousands of schools that people can go to. So don't think that I only, there's only like a handful of the famous yeah. ones that people always apply to. There's so many places that would love to have a student from Samoa because you have an interesting perspective on the world and they would love to welcome you. Another kind reminder to our listeners, don't forget our American Corner over there at uh, the Nelson Library. Uh, this was established back in 2010. I just recalled that I used to go there to uh, use the free Wi-Fi for educational purposes, of course. <laughs> uh, but yes, team, that's uh, over there at the library. The American Corner appears located on the second floor public library funded by the American uh, Spaces Support Funds. Also, one of the other questions is uh, what specific fields of studies are, are open? Any and all. I have seen Fulbright programs on almost every topic that you can imagine. Um, I was working in Latvia, Northern Europe, and I had someone who was studying basically um, how to set up retirement homes. How can wow. we basically take better care of our senior citizens in that country? Um, so I've seen programs, everything related to a law degree. I have someone who is studying epidemiology, for example, look after COVID, how can we better protect ourselves from the next pandemic? Yeah. Uh, you, I have people studying on jazz programs, so mm. jazz trumpet, jazz saxophone. There is no limit to what the creative idea can be. Mm. It's only limited about your passion and what you put into that application, yeah. about why you think it's important that you study this in the United States. I've always uh, a big fan of uh, pushing the arts and, uh, you know, uh, performing arts in Samoa. And I think with a lot of films happening right now, the you know, with Dwayne Rock Johnson, is we're getting a lot of market, and I think that's a good market to have in Samoa. Our very own small Hollywood happening. Yeah. Very, very soon when me and my boy just escaped, get our scholarship with Fulbright. <laughs> <laughs> Look, somebody absolutely can apply to, you know, look at creative film production. Yeah. Um, and there's so many avenues that you can take that in, whether yeah. that's hey, how yeah. to set up entrepreneur business, be a producer on the yeah. side, editing. I mean, we have graduate programs there for sure. Um, and what an interesting idea for Samoa and like kind of leverage the yeah. hot market, like you said. Yeah. How, yeah. Many, uh, how many slots, though, are available for Samoa? So there's not specific slots for Samoa. Yeah. It's based actually on the quality of the applications. Mm. But uh, basically Samoa competes with the other mission applications from around the Pacific Island region. Mm. So that's why, because I cover Samoa and not Fiji, I want to see more Samoans yeah. because I want to beat out our embassy in uh, Suva. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but not that it's a competition, but it kind yes, of is. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But you know, being uh, the U.S. Embassy, you know, Veronica, you guys got a 
you guys are quite busy doing a lot of good work uh, giving back to uh, the community uh the, you guys have afternoon reading for students and i heard that's free also tutorials on saturday Yep. Is that still ongoing at this time? Yes, and all these happen at the American Corner. All these programs are offered free mm. to parents of all students, the emerging voices of Samoa. That's right. You know, the, our youth, the Saturday tutorials are in English, they are free. You know, just call uh, 20118 mm. for more information or I'll set up an appointment with the ladies there who are. Uh, oh run the corner, mm. the American corner. And also we have uh, special monthly programs. They are American or Samoa themed yeah. programs like Halloween, yeah. Thanksgiving, we'll Spice Father's it up Day. for the yeah. kids, yeah. yeah? Yeah, and then we have uh, like trivia for, for, the, for the students mm. and they get prizes and all that just to motivate them to read. Exactly. We have reading ambassadors that we read to the students. We go out to the villages, to the schools, even in Sabai, mm. and we read to our uh, our students. There's another American corner that is opening soon yeah. at Salilolonga Library. It's uh, all services. We mirror the services here at the corner in Apia. Everything is free. Wi-Fi nice. is free. The reading programs for students after school are offered as well, but the, uh, we are waiting on for when our ambassador in Wellington can come over to Samoa to officially open nice. the American corner in Salilolonga. Mm. He was here on the first week the borders opened in August, but yeah, 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 yeah. he's looking forward to coming back. Um, and that's all part of, you know, now that the borders open, really restarting kind of our person to person programs. We yeah. did a lot virtually and Veronica did an amazing job, you know, during the lockdowns to keep our programs going. But COVID kind of made me realize that nothing replaces being in a place. Yeah and meeting people face to face. That's right. Um, just this weekend, we're welcoming our first in-person program. So two speakers from the United States, our sports envoy program. Um, they'll be hanging out here in Samoa through the weekend and Monday and Tuesday. The first female NFL coach and nice. a member of the USA rugby team. Yeah. And this is to kind of celebrate women in sports and the anniversary of Title IX, which gave equal rights to women in sports in the United Very States nice. back in the 70s. So it's the 50th anniversary of that. So this is just part of, you know, it's amazing to see the buzz again yeah. now that the borders are open. I'm so glad we all did what we had to do to protect our communities. Um, but I'm really glad to be back. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, guys. If you have any questions, send it through to our uh, radio station. 104 is our text line. And to all the kids listening in right now, uh, most of the schools are on school holiday. So it's a good opportunity to go and use our American Kona over there at the Nelson Library. Great opportunities here. I just want, uh, 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 lest I forget, mm -hmm. to mention and, and, and thank our partner, yeah. the Ministry of Education, Sports and Culture, with the American space in Apia and in Salilolonga. So, Big shout out and good morning to the Puni Alava team before they head back to New Zealand this coming uh, Saturday. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the music in my company here at iSpy Radio. Good thing we had your uh, song requests that uh, you wanted, Miami. Yeah, that was a shout out to my hometown, Miami. Yeah. A little Will Smith action. Yeah. I know it's Throwback Thursday. Wanted to give you guys a, a little taste of home. Uh, so uh, I feel really at ease in Samoa because mm. uh, Miami, Samoa, island people, we have a lot of things in common. That's right, that's yeah. right. Warm, warm weather, warm hearts. That's for sure. <laughs> But your schedule here, you, you're quite busy. You're leaving next week, Tuesday. And of course, uh, Veronica has got you a nonstop schedule. You're quite busy at the moment. She's a taskmaster. I got to <laughs> tell you guys, uh, I know she used to be the fastest woman in Samoa. That's right. And and she was your coach and she made you do reps. Well, imagine how she's treating me. I mean, she's got me going like crazy. 
<laughs> so it's nonstop. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to see all of Samoa and meet everyone by the yeah. time I'm done in seven days. That's how she schedules things. Oh, that's good. You're, yeah. you're heading over to the big island also, Savai. I am on Friday. So we're going to be there because, as Veronica mentioned, we're opening up a new American space there. Mm. Uh, we're getting all the equipment out. It's going to have all brand new computers, nice. cool internet, books, yeah. Kindles. Um, we want you guys to have access to any and all information. That's what we're all about. Also, some education advising and tutorials there, too, in partnership with the Ministry of Education, Sports, and Culture. Uh, so I'm really excited to see Savai'i. And now when the ambassador comes back, we'll be ready for him to do the official opening, you know, like, mm. you know, traditional ribbon cutting, maybe that's some big scissors, really make it yeah, make yeah. it something special. Oh, yeah. that's good. That's good. Uh, but of course, you know, going back on to uh, just a summary of our talk back this morning and just letting everyone know once again mm -hmm. about our Fulbright uh, Student Scholarship Program. Yeah, so again, Fulbright Scholarship Program, if you need more information, it's on Facebook and Twitter and our website. Uh, applications are open until October 10th, so not a whole lot of time, but I know there's a lot of creative minds in Samoa and we're looking forward to reading uh, your great ideas. Mm. Veronica, any final words before uh, you head out on your busy day too? Well, uh, just to add on to uh, the Fulbright, uh, all Samoan citizens are eligible. That's right. And of course, team, don't forget to make sure you jump on. For more information, make sure you jump on the U.S. Embassy in Samoa, their website. Uh, they could assist you. Uh, with uh, any of your inquiries to fear Malam Malam Foi. And not forgetting uh, the number you gave me earlier, the 20118, that was for... The American Corner. Yeah, at the and library. they open from 9 to 5 yeah. every day, Saturday from 9 to 12. Well, thank you very much, ladies, for uh, our talk back this morning. I've learned a lot. And of course, it's good that we're sharing... Uh, uh, sharing uh, about the scholarship to the people out there that there's an opportunity to go and uh, uh, educate yourself overseas and man america who doesn't want to go to america you definitely need to go yeah america. i need to I go know. you haven't been start I with miami been, yeah, yeah miami mm -hmm. that's a great place to start and what you guys got a place for me to stay yeah, uh, I think, on the I beach think we'll, <laughs> we'll find you a spot <laughs> yeah, well thank you very much uh Lucille Goodman, and of course, thank you very much, uh, Veronica, for our talk back this morning. All the best for today. All the best for your trip before you head back. I'll probably see you out at the edge uh, tonight. Yeah, we're going to be there with actually people who have been on our programs Yeah. Um, from across Samoa. It's kind of celebrating being back and having programs restart. So, Fafetai, thank you, everybody. Mm. Really appreciate the warm welcome I've received here in Samoa. Yeah, and uh, thank you very much, I Spy Radio. You're the, you're the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it, guys. That's our talk back for today. But let me tell you, I'm not going to be able to get a show. I remember it is take it easy radio station and whoever's stressing you out tell them hey listen to I Spy get some feel good music in you